Okay, looking at part two for geometric sequences. Um, in other words, let's read these problems and see what we can get out of them. So, Kelly lost a bet with a genie and has to pay back her bet each month for a year, where the amount paid increases by 9% each month. So, increasing by 9% each month, that screams out to me, I know this is an increasing geometric series, geometric sequence. And if she has to pay $400 in her first month, well, her first month, that's A equals 400. How much will she have to pay in the twelfth month, and how much total will she have paid the genie? So, here we're looking at... We know this. In the first instance, she pays $400. But after twelve months, how much is she going to pay? In addition to that, what's the total she's going to pay? So we're looking for two things. We're looking for T, the amount for the twelfth month, but we're also looking for the sum up to the first twelve months. Okay, so let's start with the month she pays in the twelfth month. So that's n equals twelve, a is equal to four hundred, and our r value is increasing, and it's a percentage here, so it's one plus nine divided by one hundred, which is equal to one point zero nine. So t sub 12, the amount she has to pay on the 12th month, is equal to 400 times our r value, which is 1.09, to the power of n here, which is 12 minus 1. Putting that into our calculator, the amount she'll pay on the 12th month will be... She'll pay back $1,032.17 in 12th month. So that's quite a bit, but we're curious, how much in total has she paid back to the genie? So in total, that's going to be talking about the sum up to 12 months. So using our sum formula, if you don't have that one memorized yet, I'll write it out here, n divided by 2 times... Oh, I'm sorry, that's for arithmetic sequences. Sum here for geometric sequences is a bracket r to the power of n minus 1, bracket, again the 1 is not in the power here, it's r to the power of 1 minus 1, r to the power of n minus 1, then divided by bracket r minus 1. So plugging in what we know, we're looking for the sum up to 12 months, so n is equal to 12, a is the same, it's 400 in her first payment, times her r value, which is 1.09, to the power of 12 minus 1 bracket, and all of that is over 1.09 minus 1 with a bracket. So let's put that into the calculator and see what we get. And we get here, ran out of room over there, the sum after 12 months should be $8,056.29 so this is her total. So in the twelfth month she pays 1032 but total over the whole year she's paid back $8,056.29. sorry, $8,056.29. So this one's interesting because it's asking for both us to use the normal formula to just find a particular term sequence number and then also the total. And here we're increasing with the geometric sequence as well because it's increasing by a percentage. Let's take a look at the next problem. Um, Justine has been living off the money under her mattress for a long, long time. The amount she has spent has decreased by 4% each month. So decreasing by 4% each month, that tells me again it's going to be a geometric sequence. If the total amount she has spent when she runs out is this, how much did she spend in the first month? Well, the first month, that's actually asking for A, but I don't know what A is. And the total amount, seeing how it says their total, is this. Well, that's one of my sums. But I need to think carefully about this. Remember with a geometric sequence you've got a sum for a set amount of time, a partial sum up to like a certain number of months, or an infinite sum. And there's a key word in here, two words in here, that gives me a hint. Living off the money under her mattress for a long, long time. 
To me, that's telling me long, long, long time. That's the hint that we're looking with an infinite sequence here. Infinite. So the amount she has spent has decreased by 4% each month. So let's work with that first. R is going to be equal to 1 minus 4 divided by 100. That's equal to 0 0.96. And that's between the range of negative 1 and 1 that we need for an infinite, si infinite sum. So there's my r value. And I'm going to assume here that my infinite sum is equal to 22500, zero, zero, because they're telling me the total amount she has spent when she runs out, when she's used up all the money into the mattress, is $22,500 but it took her a long, long time to do it, so I'm going to assume it's an infinite sum. And they want to know the first month, so my infinite sum formula is equal to um, infinite sum a over bracket 1 minus r. So using what we know, 22,500 is equal to a over bracket 1 minus r, which is 0 0.96 bracket. So put this in the solver and you will get A is equal to $900. So she spent $900 in her first month. And from there it decreased. The amount she spent each month decreased until she ran out of money. So she tried to eke it along as long as she could. So Watching for that language, the reference there to it taking a long time, or anything that in indicates that it, we don't know what in is, or that in could be forever far away, that's going to give us a hint that it might be an infinite sum. And if that's the case, double check that your r value is between negative 1 and 1. If all that checks out, and you're pretty sure there's nothing in there saying she does this for 10 months or 10 years or whatever, then we're going to look at this and say that it's going to be an infinite sum. So there's a few more word problems for you to work through there, and heaps more practice for you guys to get into. Um, give it a go, and see how it goes for you.